Hello everybody and welcome back to another plan commentary of <coughs> Parasite the Maxing episode 9. As per usual, there's the outro. Ah, let's get it on. Yeah, this is gonna be quite interesting to see how this arc will pan out and when the when will the actual conflict start. Like, will it already start in this episode? Will there be already a fight sequence in this episode? Possibly, not necessarily though. Um this is I I mean I hope for a bit more slower build up because that means well that it will be more intense when it finally happens but I'm fine either way so let's just start with the show proper and we have a casualty already we will have a casualty here I believe Well, that was quick and fast and brutal and simple. Kinda nice, actually. That it was so simply done. That guy's now just one huge joke now, huh? Oh, we get a flashback of the beginning of their little romance. How sweet. Things have changed so, so very much. <laughs> so at the very least the police are now as well, or the rather important officials are involved now as well, which is pretty good sign because that just lends more credence and credibility to the show at the very least. Especially if that body was found. And now they are just talking openly up, talking openly, uh, talking openly about the parasites as well as monsters. Cool. Wow, that's kind of that's a horrifyingly close um, resemblance of the beast. That's pretty that's pretty cool actually. Okay, now and now the parasites are also being like kind of scared about their future. That's rather interesting that they are really scared of going extinct. Cool. Or the rather that they have been noticed. And that's kind of scaring them. That's pretty interesting thing to consider there. Oh. The question of the parasites, I know I'm pausing a lot here because they are asking so many important questions, but mostly the reason of the parasites existence. That's really kind of crucial and that's pretty cool that they are really openly asking this question, the parasites themselves even. Hmm. The family who is just drawing, that's actually a pretty good way to tie everything together and make a little bit more sense. Make the side characters more important that way. That's actually kind of a hor- Actually, doesn't that make identifying them rather easy? Just poke around their heads. That is a kind of a terrifying thought to think about. Just poke someone in the head and... Ew. That's kind of an interesting thought. This is so lovingly, I love how intense this is, just, you guys should be thankful, I saved your lives. That's, this is, just, love the in intensity here, because it's really intense, and only we, we, we know why, but the characters don't, or those thugs don't know why. Oh, 
that's pretty cool. His sense, his power, his ability to sense people's strengths has also improved quite a bit. <laughs> the smartest guys know when they will lose. That's pretty good. I love that. Such open hostility. Now, I know why... Of course, it's obvious why Shinichi is being so hostile, but... You would presume that he would be a bit more careful about being so openly hostile to someone who has done nothing actually even, actually mean yet, at least to his knowledge. Hmm. Man, I still love this song so much. This is just such a freaking great song. But unfortunately, this song also always gets copyright struck, so I'm gonna also now try to talk over it a bit more. So, um, interrupting the song at the very least somewhat. Um, Shinichi has changed quite a bit, that's for sure. Maybe he should talk about that his mother is dead now. Oh? Is he really not in control of his emotions even anymore? That's actually kind of a horrifying... The loss of sense, self, is also a rather horrifying concept about transhumanism. I know I'm calling it transhumanism even though it's technically speaking not, but still, you know. It, these are all interesting concepts that originate from transhumanist um, ideas. <laughs> Yeah, but the mental toughness also works to his disadvantage. So, Other ways to make you feel better, okay. And now we get some also some independent investigation. This will be a good way to, at the very least, let us know which characters are knowing which. That's kind of open investigation. I kind of love, like this kind of aspect to the show as well, because I do like investigation stories, at the very least. So, yeah. Aliens, indeed. Hmm. Considering that they might really be to try to exterminate humanity, um, they could be considered bioweapons, I suppose, but their origin is still a pretty big mystery. I hope we get an answer to that, and why they were sent here. That seems like, a, that seems like an awful idea, talking to the suspect first. That's a really bad idea, especially in this kind of a situation. Sounds like a really, really dangerous idea. Well, I doubt that she's going to die, but... How's this going to go? Oh, oh, oh my! Oh, that is horrifying. That is 
And this is how you do horror. Oh my goodness. No! Oh, goodness. Fucking hell. Okay. Do you like cliffhangers? Because that's what the show is all about. Oh my f god. It ended at such a moment. I don't know what to say. It's such a good moment to end on. It's so intense and just wants me to continue the series so much more. God damn. Okay. Uh, I need to calm down. But that's such a good moment to end the episode on. Now, Shimada is certainly some a character that I do like. Um, I do like his interactions with Shinichi quite a bit, because they also show the more angry side of Shinichi quite a well, and I like when characters emote that much. And that's really good, because Shinichi is almost always a bit more stoic than that. So it's good to get a rise out of him like that. And then, of course, those thugs, it's good to get... Have the, see them kind of, you know, piss their pants in terror, like, uh, in front of Shinichi. And because of Shinichi, I really do like that as well. Good God, that was good ending, though. The show really does do horror sometimes really, really effectively. Even though I wouldn't call it a horror show, god damn, some moments are horrifying as hell. As well as some transhuman concepts. Transhumanism concepts of the show that the show handles are really, in my opinion, done so freaking well, such as the loss of self and the lot the um, some transhuman uh, parasites just they walking on the and, and the whole doppelganger concept. That's just all of these things are just so wonderfully well done. Like not exactly doppelganger, but skinwalkers and skin skin eaters. That's so freaking. I love these concepts, and they are portrayed really, really well in the show, in my opinion. And they are really effective tools for horror as well, so... Yeah. And the animation really works quite well, I must say. With some minor changes in the character's eyes, which is just so expressive. Ex so expressively well done, and... So expressive, so well done, and it's just so well animated that, that I love it! I love it so freaking much. <sighs> That's all I have to say for now. As you can see, I'm quite happy with the show, show so far, so yeah, that's a thing. Thank you all very much for watching, hope to, I hope to see you on the future, have a great day and stay awesome. Ganmu out. Thank you very much for watching.